Well, welcome back. One look outside and you know that winter is not letting us go. So I think it's only appropriate that we talk about a winter benefit. And joining me today is Donna Pohl, who is the chair for the winter benefit for the Adirondacks Lakes Center for the Arts. In Blue Mountain Lake. In Blue Mountain Lake. Well, yes. welcome, Donna. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Now, Donna and I know each other from last year because if you're not the chairperson for the benefit, your other job is... Uh, Cruise and dine on Racket Lake aboard the W.W. Durant. And right. yes, we did advertise with Look TV last year. You did? Yes, we oh, did. Fantastic. That's how we first met. It, uh, all I remember is that my wife and I went up there and had a fabulous meal with great wine and had a wonderful tour of Racket Lake. Highly recommend it. Well, thank you. All right, so let's talk about, about the benefit. Okay. The benefit is coming up this Saturday. March 15th right. at Minnowbrook Conference Center in Blue Mountain Lake. Got it. Let's talk uh, just a bit about Minnowbrook. Uh, uh, many viewers probably do know, but some probably don't know the history of Minnowbrook and why you selected this location. Well, <laughs> first of all, Minnowbrook is such a beautiful space that it helps uh, to sell the benefit itself. People yeah, want to go there and just soak up that atmosphere. And we, um, they, it's owned by Syracuse University and caters primarily to educational groups and to corporate groups. Right. Individuals normally cannot just go in and book a room. Right. But on this one evening a year for the Art Center's winter benefit, uh, Kevin allows us to sell the rooms so that mm -hmm. people can make it a getaway. You And uh, the great room itself is just gorgeous with uh, log construction. Right. Kevin and his staff are great cooks, so we offer appetizers and then dinner. Uh, we always have a silent auction, of course, because this is a fundraiser, so we have a silent auction, and people are very generous in their donations. New this year is a live auction with Kip right. Blanchard, from Blanchard's uh, Auction Service in Potsdam. We've never done this before, but we think it'll be fun and add some zip and excitement. Kip is uh, a lot of fun. So we're looking forward to that. Gotcha. Now, uh, just so we can help frame this a little bit with Minnowbrook, you're saying, you know, make it a getaway, mm -hmm. which is terrific. And if anyone knows uh, about Minnowbrook, you, the public generally just can't go there and you stay overnight. You can't book a room. No. So Individuals an, cannot do that. So here's an exceptional reason to hop on the Northway, shoot up to Exit 23, find your way up there. Correct. Stay overnight. And uh, dinner. Tell, tell us about the menu. Oh, well, it's uh, going to be reflective of St. Patrick's Day. So yeah. Kevin naturally has corned beef. Mm -hmm. uh, and cabbage on the on right. the menu, and uh, he has uh, other 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 foods and dishes that are reminiscent of St. Patrick's Day. Right, including something vegetarian. I noticed that because that, oh, yeah. that I had to look for that. Oh yeah. And uh, the way they described the auction, of course, was a lively auction. But let's also uh, let the viewers know that uh, you don't just have to make that the one destination. You can go ski at Gore. You could climb Blue Mountain. There yeah. are a number of other things you can do while you, you're up there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You could arrive on Saturday. If you're a downhill skier, ski at Gore all day and then drive to Blue. It's only about another 30 minutes right. from Gore to, to Minnebrook. Mm -hmm. And check in to your room and get ready for the benefit. And we uh, will be serving red wine, white wine, and uh, harp Bottles of Harp beer, which is an right. Irish sure, beer. Sure, Irish, absolutely. That's what, that's what we're offering. Um, every ticket, it's $45 if you're not a member of the Art Center, 40 if you are a member. If you right. do book a room, then it's only $35 to attend. And uh, that includes one drink ticket. Got you. Now, it, uh, all of the information will be on our line, and we'll make certain that people know how to go to your website is also. Let's give our viewers just a little bit of information about the Arts Center itself. Okay. It isn't just, hey, bring your crayons and let's sit around a circle and a campfire. That there are major events that go on there. When I went online and looked at it, they were holding classes for everything from Easter egg hunts to auditions for, for major plays. Mm -hmm. uh, talk a bit about, the, about the, the plays. Now, I know that they're doing auditions coming up for Charlotte's Web, I think. Correct, correct. <laughs> Charlotte's Web is the first uh, performance of, of our uh, season. It always happens in April. It's part of our Living Able series where mm -hmm. we partner with uh, the residents of the uh, de developmentally disabled residents mm -hmm. in the homes mm -hmm. in Long Lake. And it's, 
it's a pioneering effort. This is about the fourth year we've done it, but um, it helps to dispel the fear that people have of uh, disabled people. Right, sure. So we have people in wheelchairs who are on stage uh, with or without uh, mm -hmm. someone to help them. Um, and putting the students in Long Lake Central School with these uh, residents of the intermediate care facilities has done wonders in terms of building rapport and respect between the two the two communities. You know, and they also do some literary events. They'll do uh, book events, writers' workshops. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I find it fascinating. Also, music series. Oh yeah, we do some some music. Uh, we really are known for our performing arts. We have the um, summer theater festival, right. where you you can buy a subscription to the six that we do, or you can buy individual tickets. And those performances uh, incorporate both uh, professional actors as well as actors from the community. And uh, we take the show on the road. We, we will perform different performances in different venues. So we, including North Creek and Newcomb, Tupper Lake, Glens Falls, Old Forge, right. Inlet. Right. We, we do a Shakespeare in the Park series every year. And that happens in about 10 communities, I believe, including Racket Lake. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, last year we did Macbeth, and, and they're always outdoors. And um, what else can I say? Well, you know what? It, uh, I think that it just all leads up to the fact that you definitely should support this fundraiser because just the activities that we've been discussing on air here, think about what it costs to have those performances. And, and to take it on the road and to do Shakespeare in the park and to do it outside and hold auditions that, uh, you know, the, uh, this fundraiser is a must. In my well, book. one of the things that I think, one of the, the, one of the beneficial things that the Art Center brings to uh, a rural area like uh, Hamilton County is we have local students who are able, it lights a fire, they may not even have realized that they have this interest mm -hmm. in the theater. So for them to be able to work closely with professional mm -hmm. actors, mm -hmm. it, has opened, it has opened their, their lives and their world to, to experiences that they would never have gotten without the Art Center. Look. And then they get to go, we partner with the Red House mm -hmm. in uh, Syracuse. Mm -hmm. And uh, so our students in, our local students get to go and spend a week right. in uh, Syracuse at the Red House. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a very good experience. Well, for you know what, it's a major reason that arts is so vital to any community is that it gives someone the opportunity to express themselves and you become the vehicle for that. So I highly encourage everyone, you hop in your car, you head up the north way, get off at exit 23, it's only exit 23, right. and shoot up to Rackage, uh, shoot up to Blue Mountain Lake. Right. And uh, go to Racket Lake too. And, uh, and just stay overnight, have fun, and ski. Uh, it's coming up. Okay. Today's Wednesday. It's I know it's it is. this coming Saturday. So it's this Saturday. Yes. Well, look, to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.